all right guys welcome back to your second end map video and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to scan multiple targets at once so i actually have this app downloaded on my phone called fing f-i-n-g and it's a pretty cool app you just click on it and it shows you all the devices on your home network and i don't know if they have it for um ios but i have an android phone so i know that a couple devices that are already on my network in the ip address so say that I wanted to scan them, but I didn't feel like running three separate commands, just wanted to scan them all at once. So what I can do is I can write nmap, and my network is 192.168.0.0, but the first device is .0.9, let me see if I could do this the lazy way. So let me copy that, so that's one device. Another device, I know the IP address is 0 0.17, and the last one is 0 0.23. Now again, like I said, since you actually need to have permission to scan devices, these are all just devices on my home network. I think one's my tablet and one's my uh, iMac or something. But these can be the IP addresses of different websites, different servers, routers, whatever you want. So I'm just going to hit enter. And what this is going to do is it's going to do the same thing that we saw before. Look for all, pretty much look at these devices and see what ports are open, what services are running. But it's going to do it all at once. Pretty sweet. And alrighty mates, there you go. So after just a few minutes, you see some basic information about these devices. Again, nothing too exciting because, you know, these are just personal electronics and I don't have any home servers in that list. But let's say that you actually wanted to scan the entire range of IP addresses for all of the devices on my network. Well, you have a couple different options. So if you just do nmap 192.168.0.1, then I know that all of the devices on my network, I only have like five of them. So they're going to fall in a range to like one to 30. So what this actually means is scan all of the devices 192.168.0.1 to 192.168.0.30. So this is just a quick little shorthand way of doing that. And that's actually going to take a few minutes. So I don't actually want to do it. I just want to show you guys the syntax of it. Now, if you actually want to scan an entire subnet, and by that I mean all devices from 0 to 255, then you can either just write 0, 255, or you can just write an asterisk. So above the 8 on your keyboard, that star. Now, again, this is going to take like 10 minutes if I do that, so I'm not going to waste your time. However, that is how you do that. And let me move over to my desktop because I want to show you guys something else. Now, something really useful you can do is you can actually make a file, an entirely separate text file, and you can have a list of IP addresses in it. Now, once you have a list of IP addresses, you can use that list to scan instead of typing them out all in manually. So let me just make a file called like a uh, targets.txt. And leafpad, let's go ahead and add three. So leafpad uh, targets.txt. All right, let me minimize this so you guys can see, and let me just add two real quick. So I'm just gonna add my server, which is 54.186.250.79, and what was one of the ones we scanned already, like 192.168.0.17. So this is my web server for their newboston.com, and this is just one of the devices um, I don't know, it's like a tablet or something inside my house, but this can be a list of anything you want. So I'm just going to save that, close out, clear, and just to make sure. All right. So I displayed it and look at this. So we have a file, and the only thing it has is two IP addresses in here. And it can have as many as you want. So once you have a file and you want to scan it, you write nmap minus lowercase i capital L and this little flag it means input list or it technically means input list but I always read it as import from list since I don't know makes more sense to me targets.txt so we're gonna scan from a file and this flag just means import all of those IP addresses and hit enter so now it basically does the same thing as before so there you go so that's ladies and gentlemen is how you use a separate text file of ip addresses and also how you can scan multiple targets at once i will see you guys next time